and now it's accepted officially the last quarter the growth has been just 5% down from 8% in the first quarter of 2018 it was steadily coming down to 5 and there is no light at the end of the tunnel the one way of getting out of taking hard decision is to say is structural problem is structural long run is not a question of aggregate demand that's what the union finance minister said but everything points to of course there are structural problems many a structural problem our interpretation our position regarding the structural problems that in the economy faces may be very different from government of india but there are structural problems but within the broad framework of the structure there is a cyclical downturn that has occurred where aggregate demand has come down uh, you have the consumption demand going down right from automobiles to biscuits every there is a inventory building up and layoff taking place point to consumption demand going down and also the latest number which came today regarding uh, the the industrial growth the sharpest decline in july has been in the capital goods segment where it, when compared to last year's july it is minus 7.1% this shows how the investment demand has stagnated and therefore you have a situation of uh, c and i declining and it will have a deleterious impact upon y so simple truism y is equal to c plus i and um, there is a third component g the government expenditure so if you want to have your income uh, grow or at least remain the same you have to increase g because it's accepted today nobody can debate that c plus i is going down so elementary macroeconomists will suggest that you have a fiscal stimulus you increase your g government expenditure that's what they refuse to do you can think about it. and to me surprisingly not only uh, nirmala sitharaman but also dr manmohan singh Uh, today's uh, recipe 5 point program came out he has almost forgotten everything he did in, in 2009 10 he <laughs> yeah. uh, his prescriptions have been again structural uh, streamlining gst uh, agriculture all this needs agriculture growth etc have to be done but the simple thing there is a collapse of aggregate demand and the only way the economists can respond to it uh, the shorter is by stimulating demand so no even industry very timidly suggested as such and gave a memorandum say 1 trillion rupee stimulus package which is nothing at all 1 trillion <laughs> they have taken 1.76 lakh from the reserve bank so what is 1 million 1 trillion but nevertheless even at least they suggested you see but it was um, just brushed aside when 1.76 lakh rupees from the reserve bank reserves came everybody thought there is going to be a stimulus package in the making um, but no Uh, they have different ideas i think they are just going to fill up the gap <laughs> in the revenue <laughs> it just fits the gap <laughs> i think when they made the budget they had calculated how much money they would require from the reserve bank and just left that gap and just took that money for the gap um, whatever happens they don't want the fiscal deficit to rise that's a part of story we we'll have to come at the end so i think from my position no my position is that what we require is something like what we did in 2010 a big stimulus package and what are the components of this package first and most important is putting money in the hands of people 
now i don't saying dolling out to everybody but double the expenditure on mgnr that's a simple thing you as fan it to the urban sector you increase the number of days to from 100 to 150 and you increase the wages by 50 rupees and uh, your 70000 crores rupees will go to 1.4 lakh crores and that will immediately bring money into the hands of people also now anyway they are concentrating on creation of assets assets will be built in the rural areas some steering will take place some stimulation the alis biscuits they will buy <laughs> if they may not buy the cards so definitely <laughs> biscuits they will buy now second would be biscuits are taken care of how do you take care of the cards now the best and simplest would be why are the cards sales down simply drying up the credit major part of the credit for car automobile purchase came from not the not the banks but nbfcs and ilnfs for whatever reason uh, reserve bank decided to make an example of them and they put income to the aid and they are floundering that is frozen and then on banking financial institutions from aggressively lending and uh, they are covering the risk therefore credit for the consumer durable sub trade off now we have a strange prescription given everybody everybody is discussing the channels and everything i am the only person standing again that you might just slash the the gst rates for water bottles first of all one has to calculate price elasticity of uh, the automobiles what will this uh, uh, say small percent decline decrease in the 5% decrease in the uh, tax rate will do first of all we have to accept that the slowdown in the automobile sector did not come because of high gst rates because pre gst rate if we include state vat and central excise i am not adding service tax or adds or there are service tax component and the cst well it is about an average about 6 10 percentage point higher than the existing gst so it is not um, the, the the gst uh, rate which has created the issue you see um more than that if at all i am arguing and that's the position i'm going to take in goa if you want to cut you cut the sense compensation sense don't tamper with the gst why do i say that now this is only revenue of the states see you have a conservative fiscal policy which does not allow in the time of a great slowdown the fiscal deficit to rise not only of the state center but also the states then you cut the revenue all the states will be forced to have a contractionary policy which will be totally counter protective so then the question raised is suppose you reduce the cess compensation cess then how will you compensate the states i am saying very simple let government of india give a loan to this fund and extend the cess for two more three more years till this is recouped it is supposed to end in fifth year no let it go on to seventh year what does it matter it is not of any fundamental constitutional principle that is involved so if you want to reduce the price well don't tamper with this because there is a question of equity involved today economy times carries the headline the 5% the tax on necessities to be raised to 8% so that you mobilize resources lost giving tax concession to automobiles and uh, consumer durables 
Now, this is the most iniquitous su suggestion you can have. In a country like India, where there is high level of inequality, uh, the consumption pattern of the rich and poor are so different. Majority of the people and the elite. Here is uh, GST itself, taxes on the consumer durables and elite consumption must be reduced. Now you want to make it one single tax for SUV and say having puppet. <laughs> it's obscene. That's what I say. This obscene. Do you want to suggest that single rate? They say it's so complicated. So many rates. Silly. Think of the period, pre GST period. There were about uh, 18 taxes which were subsumed. Rates of each of these taxes differ from state to state. See the whole complex entire tax system that existed. It has been simplified into a force structure, uh, same rates. Of course, you have to accept there is something more than ease of doing business in India. See. This does not ease of doing business. There is uh, the question of uh, the equity. That's important. You see. Revenue for the states. Uh, all these are very, very important concerns. So when the question, issue of ease of doing business becomes paramount, about everything, everything else is given by. So they have been suggesting this. Uh, then what is that? Then the question is raised. How do you then get rid of get a, uh, the present problem in the automobile sector? I would say provide credit. If necessary, provide an interest subvention. Anybody who purchases uh, automobiles within the next six months gets an interest subvention. They will all friend load their purchases. If you look at the data on the purchase pattern or aspirations of the millennials which has come out yesterday, you will find that as the age comes down, they don't want to purchase immediately, but the proportion of people who want to purchase, say, next two, three years, that goes on ballooning. So you provide credit industry, they will all purchase now. They will take care of your demand problem. Say, instead of that, What's the amount of energy being spent upon these tags? How to do that? How to tweak it? Uh, how to raise the 5% to 8% and so on going? So I would say consumer durables provide liberal credit if necessary to entice people to purchase now. Reduce the interest rate for them. And third, have a big infrastructure spend. Use this as an, as an opportunity. Uh, to enhance your infrastructure spending. There are a whole lot of infrastructure halfway finish line. Nidin Kakari is being uh, pulled up for thinking of too much of roads in India. Well, this is an occasion you can spend. So this is an opportunity, I would say. The crisis. Every crisis provides an opportunity if you are willing to uh, Take it, take up the challenge. What is preventing government of India from considering these options? Each of these options I suggested would result in an increase in the fiscal deficit, something they can't. They'll fund the data totally, <laughs> window doesn't, but they want this optics to be good at 3.3, 3.4. Whom are they trying to show? And that's the big question of uh, today's uh, Indian economy.